All right, so previously inside of WSL, if I open up my distro here, and then if I take a look at the process tree, you can see right now that there is an init process for PID1, and that init process is not systemd. Now, if you'd like to change this to be able to use systemd with your WSL distro, or I should say with an existing WSL distro, if you install a new one as of 23.04 for Ubuntu, it will by default use systemd. If you have something older though and want to migrate it, basically what you need to do is edit the etsy slash wsl.comp file. And then inside of here, add a boot section and underneath of that set systemd equals true. Go ahead and save that file. And once again, just so you can see it here, here is the process hierarchy right now. All right, now if I exit out of my WSL distro, close that shell, come back to my host inside of PowerShell, I'll need to shut down my distro. So I'll just shut everything down within WSL. And then I'll open things back up again, come into my default distribution here. And now if I run the PS command again, take a look at that. We've got a lot more inside of here. And most important of all, you'll be able to see throughout here, we have references to system D. In fact, we have slash S pin slash init right here. And that is now PID one. If you want to do some digging here, if you take a look at the files in S pin slash init, you can see that's a pointer to system D. So we now have system D available to manage the status of services. For example, I could take a look at the units that are available. Zoom out a little bit here. Should be able to see some status. Yep, there you go. You can see what's loaded, what's active, etc. Now, one reason you might want to do this is if you need to use something that requires system D. For example, if I want to install a snap package, like this diff so fancy tool, this requires system D. This would have failed before and now it will succeed. All right, that's done now. So I've got diff so fancy. And if I want, I could take a look at the status of snap. And there is the daemon. So without system D, this wouldn't be able to run. Now, one thing to note, if I exit out of my WSL distro, if I list out my distros here, you can see I have several distros available. For example, I also have a Kali Linux distro. If I get into that, what do you think you'll see when I run the PS command here? Let's find out. So in this case, I'm not using systemd inside of this distro. So the setting is per distribution. So if you have multiple distros, you'll have to do this for each of the distributions that you want to migrate. 